Hello, my friends. Here's another true story from Jason. Thanks for letting me share your story. You're gonna wanna watch this one. It's pretty spooky. Enjoy. It was meant to be a simple weekend getaway at Old Pine Trail, a remote spot known more for its stunning views than its eerie legends. As avid campers, we thought we knew what to expect. Rustling leaves, distant howls, and the occasional critter scurrying nearby. But nothing could have prepared us for that night. As dusk settled, a dense fog enveloped our campsite, and the usual chorus of wildlife fell eerily silent. We gathered around the fire, its crackling flames offering a small comfort against the creeping chill. It was then we heard the first unsettling noises, heavy, deliberate rustling in the bushes far too loud to be any small forest animal. Curiosity mixed with anxiety, we shone our flashlights into the surrounding thicket. The light caught glimpses of something large, its eyes reflecting a haunting glow back at us. The creature seemed to circle our camp, each pass growing ominously closer. Its movements were accompanied by a low, guttural growling that resonated through the cold night air. Determined to see what stalked us, I cautiously approached the edge of the campsite. The brush parted suddenly and I found myself staring into the most horrifying sight. The creature, towering and humanoid, had long, matted fur and limbs that bent unnaturally. Its face was a grotesque mask of animal and human features, twisted in a snarl that revealed sharp, yellowed teeth. Frozen in place, I could only watch as it stepped forward, its eyes burning with a malevolent intelligence. It raised one clawed hand as if to beckon, then turned and vanished into the fog as quickly as it had appeared. The forest remained deathly quiet, as though every creature was holding its breath. We spent the night huddled together, too afraid to sleep, jumping at every sound. At dawn, we packed up and left, the morning light doing little to dispel the terror of the night. No trace of the creature remained, but the unnerving feeling of being watched lingered long after we left Old Pine Trail. Now, whenever I hear stories of strange sightings or unexplained noises in the woods, a chill runs down my spine, and I wonder if what we saw was merely passing through, or if it was a guardian of those woods, ensuring we would never truly feel welcome there. That's some spooky shit. I wouldn't be going back there either. Hope you enjoyed. Twist Ellie's story ideas at gmail.com. If you have a real life horror story, submit it there. And if you liked that one click, the one to the right of my head here, it is terrifying. And as always, my friends, I will see you on the dark side. Sweet nightmares.